Good evening. A Papakolea family mourns the loss of their youngest son. The teenager was killed in a moped crash on the way to Oahu's North Shore yesterday. KITV's Caroline Slider joins us with more on this story. Well, Pamela and Gary, friends and family members say riding mopeds was one of Gino Kanahele's favorite things to do. And tonight it's hard for them to believe he's actually gone. Carloads of family members showed up to build a roadside memorial for 14-year-old Gino Kanahele along Kaukonahua Road. I love life, love to go outdoors. I was into like, um, you know, like football, dirt bike riding, those kinds of real boy stuff. <laughs> the teenager was on a moped cruise with his brothers and a group of friends yesterday when tragedy struck. Police say speed was a factor. He was coming around this turn and I think that he couldn't control the bike. He was going too fast and then he hit the guardrail. Like head on. Well, not head on, but you know, like body on. And then they said he died instantly, broke his neck. According to police, after hitting the guardrail, he collided with his brother, who was also riding a moped. Both crashed, but Gino's brother survived. Mourning family members placed flowers and balloons at the crash site and gathered pieces of the shattered moped, also left at the memorial. Gino was a uh, live life to the fullest guy, if you would. I mean, he was into, you know, mopeds, dirt bikes. We have numerous trophies of him that he won off at Google Kutra. The youngest of four siblings, Gino played football for the Hawaii Young Warriors. His school friends are devastated by the news. Everyone in school liked him. He was awesome to everyone, and everyone was devastated today. You know, he made everyone laugh. His jokes were so funny. We just want to say thank you to everybody who's come out and support the family. Gino's aunt says the moped cruise was not something he normally did. It was something special they were all doing for Halloween. Caroline Slider, KITV 4 Island Television News.